back at it again with another video finally keep my skin you know how it is it's flawless come through hey, I'm the way. what's up beauties it's your girl deandra finally back with another video i know i've been mia for about three months now but I've just been trying to brainstorm and think of new content to bring to you guys. And I always want my content to be on its top. Okay? Always at the top. I don't want to bring anything to you guys that is half-stepping. And while I was away, I've definitely honed in on some new skills. I've been working on my makeup application. I have learned how to apply and customize my wigs. And I've been learning my how to do my nails, too. So, you know, I'm definitely going to be coming to you guys with new tutorials and things like that. But today, we are here to focus on our foundation routine and our skin, okay? So, I'm really going to break down to you guys the, my foundation routine, the products that I use, the brushes that I use, the reason why I use what I use. And I'm also going to be telling you guys what I've been using since fall has started, okay? Fall is where we get really dry and you know you need my needed extra hydration. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys the product, a few products that I have been coming across that I've had, that I have actually liked. Yes. And I'm going to share with you where to get them and don't forget everything I use will be listed in the description bar below. And let's get into this tutorial. First things first, when focusing on a flawless skin application, you have to first worry about skincare. Especially now that seasons are changing and you know, everybody's getting a little bit drier. <coughs> so I definitely add a, lo a lot of hydration into my routine because you don't wanna look dry and cracky and patchy and I don't do that over here, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is wash my face. I use the Urban Skin RX um, Combination Clear Skin Bar. This is what it looks like. You take the pad and you swirl it around just to lather it up. So now that you take that nice lather pad and you just start to massage it in your skin. And when cleaning your face, you always want to use a brand new towel. So now we are going to get into the final steps of my process. First thing is my toner or my softener. This is the Shiseido Treatment Softener Enriched. And this is for normal dry and very dry skin. And you just take a couple drops. So the next thing in my routine is the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. So you just take a little. So the last step in our routine is to moisturize. And lately I have been liking the CeraVe Moisturizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and my eyes off camera and I'll be back with you guys to go ahead and get into this skin. All right, you guys, we are back. I went ahead and did my eyebrows and my eyes off camera. I will leave these product details listed in the description bar below just in case you wanna know what I use. So we have already washed our face, moisturized, hydrated, all that good stuff. Now we're gonna go ahead and prime. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty, right, you guys. So now that we are primed and ready to go, we're gonna go in with our foundation. I prefer a foundation stick, and this is the Black Opal True Color Foundation in Hazelnut, and this is the one that I'm gonna be using. So when blending out my foundation, I like to use Kabuki brushes. So this is a more round Kabuki brush, and this is an extremely flat top brush. So I'm going to take the round brush and this is from Real Techniques 
in the number 204 and this is what the brush looks like. All right, you guys, now we are going to highlight and contour. This is essential for your face application so that you don't just look mama's home. You want to give your face shape and definition. Highlight with the e.l.f. Cameo Concealer in Tan Latte. And then I'm going to contour with my crayon case in the number 17. Since the crayon case concealer is more dewy and it takes long, a little longer to dry, I'm going to put this one on first. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our highlighting concealer. So since this one dries really fast, I'm not gonna let it sit. I'm just gonna put it on and blend it out as I go. So now to blend out my concealer, I'm taking my crayon case 9 a.m. brush. So I'm just gonna start by blending out the bottom of my concealer and working the way up. Alright, so now that our highlight is blended out, we're going to go ahead and blend out our contour. So I like to take an angled brush to go ahead and blend out my contour because this is what's going to keep that contour line as sharp as possible. Now to blend out my nose contour, I like to take a small flat contour brush and this is going to give me the perfect definition for my nose without pushing that product everywhere. Now that we have blended out our highlight and contour, now we're going to take our foundation brush and we're going to blend those lines right in between that highlight and contour just so everything flows together just a smidge more evenly. Alright, now that that is blended, now we are going to set. So my favorite rule ever, and I cannot stress this enough, everything wet, you must set. Everything wet, you must set. No doubt about it, my favorite setting powder of all times, and don't debate me on this, is the Crayon Cage Chalk Dust. And this is what it looks like. And I use the letter A. So A is more of a for neutral undertone. So I'm gonna take my setting powder. Um, you can either take it on a beauty blender, but I like to use a brush because it I don't like to bake. And when I use a beauty blender, it gives me this whole baking effect, and I really hate baking. So yeah. Now, to set our contour, I use two different products, um, depending on what type of look that I'm going for. So the first is my Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar. This is what it looks like with a contour blush and a highlighter shade. Um, the, this contour is just a dark brown. It doesn't have really any undertone on it. So if I'm going for a really nice 
simple look without any extra color in my skin then I would definitely be using my brownie bar and another one of my favorite products is the crayon case watch me blush palette and this is what it looks like I use I use hot cocoa to contour with and this gives me more of a kind of contour bronze look so if I'm looking to contour a bronze all in one then hot cocoa is definitely my go-to and of course you know you have your brush your blushes and highlighters in here as well so this palette is definitely a all-in-one All right, you guys, so when I apply highlighter, I like to use two different brushes to do so. So first I use a small fluffy blending brush to tap that product on. This gives it the most definition and to make sure that that color is popping, okay? Because if we can't over highlight, what will we highlighting for? I do my cheeks, my nose, the tip of my nose and then right in between my eyebrows and then I do my cupid's bow. I'm gonna take a fluffy um, blush brush really to just blend it on out and disperse that product even more and fade it. Now at this point you would go back in and touch up whatever needs to be touched up, add a little bit more blush if need be, straighten out your contour and make sure everything is blended to perfection okay we don't want to skip that step of blending if you feel like something is unblended just go back in and re-blend it a little bit more never hurts anybody or take your foundation brush to smooth out those edges. foundation brush is an essential tool to help you smooth out those fine lines and make sure everything just really flows as one all right you guys so now that we have done our face we're going to go ahead and set it so that everything stays in place so I like to use two different setting sprays depending on the finishing look that I want. The Morphe Continuous Setting Spray is going to give me a little bit of a dewy glow and the matte setting spray is going to have me matte as ever, okay? So don't forget to let me know down in the comment section below what you guys want to see from me next. I'm always up for taking suggestions. If it's a product you want me to review, then definitely let me know. And I will go copy for y'all. Because you know, I'm going to let y'all know what's tea. Cool. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you never miss a look.